Brand Talk, where insights meet innovation in the world of brands. Today, I'm very happy to host Mr. Amit Mathur, the President for Sales and Marketing at Finolex Cables Limited. Finolex Cables recently unveiled the next iteration of its No Stress Finolex campaign to promote its smart switches, irons, and switch gear range. And also did an innovative overage campaign just weeks ago on that. So congratulations on that, Mr. Mathur. I'm so happy to host you. Thank you very much, Ritika. And thanks for having me here. It's a great opportunity for me to interact with E4M. Yeah, you Absolutely. have rightly said that uh, our recent campaign uh, was a great success. And uh, it's already on, on the digital platform and uh, social media and your uh, TV also. Right, right. So uh, if you could, you know, help me with what was the major insight behind this latest iteration of the No Stress Phenolex campaign, it would be great. Yeah, sure. So, okay. So being a 65 year old brand, uh, we have observed that there is a disconnect between a young generation and our brand, between a millennial and Gen Z. So we have taken this Karthik Aryan and Kiara Dwani some two years back as our brand ambassador. And uh, uh, the latest campaign is with uh, Kiara and uh, Kiara and her maid. And there is a cute dog, uh, Lhasa Apsu. The name of the dog is Zoe. And the background of this entire campaign is a influencer background where this Kiara and this dog is acting as an influencer. So uh, it emphasizing on the ease and reliability uh, while using the Phenolix product that you can uh, do your routine work with a stress-free Phenolix product. So our focus is also to promote uh, our uh, switch gear range, our uh, touch switch, which is a new innovative product, and of course, the new launch ions. Thank and you. of course, the role of the maid is very important in this campaign because you can see the maid that Lhasa Apsu and uh, Kiara in all our new campaign. Right. Right. So you mentioned that you have been col uh, collaborating with Karthik Aryan and Kiara Advani for almost two years now. That's a long-standing collaboration. So what are the synergies with these actors in particular and how are they sort of aligned with Phenolex as a brand? We were looking for an ambassador who can represent, uh, who can connect well with the millennial and Gen Z. Yes, you did. And Karthik was uh, the young generation crush. And he is the young generation guest. Yeah. And Kiara was at its peak of her career. They were giving back-to-back -back hits. Kiara had given so many hits movies. And they have worked together in Bhul Bulaya 2 also. When we have launched our campaign, that Bhul Bulaya 2 was launched and it was a great hit. So that chemistry between the two uh, stars were really doing well. And it is not only Karthik and Kiara. When we have launched this old campaign, then there were uh, two cute dogs also. So we were... Focusing on a pet parenting thing, which is a new thing across the millennial and uh, Gen Z. And uh, after this campaign, uh, we are feeling that, that the connection with the millennial and Gen Z is better now. And that is how we are launching new product. Recently, we have launched our smart lock, the touch switch, the domestic category of appliances. So that is how uh, now we are confident that, that the connection is better with the uh, millennial and uh, there is a brand recall also and uh, our ad was there across all the channels it was a 360 degree campaign you uh, you can see some 30,000 shop boards across India you can see some holdings across India there were uh, uh, different channels entertainment channel news channel and we were there in all kind of digital media also so we have got uh, a nice and good uh, feedback from the market and from our existing customers. And now the people are talking about our campaign and our products. Right. You mentioned it was a successful campaign and it has also been running for quite some time now. So what are the exact metrics that you were looking from for this campaign? No, so there were so many metrics involved in this campaign. So the first thing was a brand recall. Mm. So uh, Phenolix is the number one brand in electrical wires and we are number one in communication cables. So we are number one in many of the categories. And uh, we just want to give a brand recall through this campaign and we have successfully do that. And uh, this campaign was in different languages. Uh, the campaign was in five languages across India, whether it is a Southern language or a Eastern language or a Hindi language or English language. So we were there across India. Yeah. And uh, the main metrics was to brand recall, to increase our reach, to uh, convert the impression and to uplift our sale. And uh, I'm very happy to say that, that uh, yes, 
we have seen uptick in our sales and uh, these products are moving very good in the market now that that's really great to hear uh, this was a very innovative campaign coming from finolex where this, this was a month long innovation innovative overage campaign if i'm if i'm not wrong so would you say that innovative strategies are sort of the need for you to stand out considering it's a very cluttered category the one you operate in yeah that is true everybody is promoting their product nowadays and new companies are coming and new startups are coming they have uh, so much money to but they have so much fun to promote their product so it is very difficult to uh, to stand out in this clutter market but uh, we have successfully achieving that thing for the last so many years and recently we have what we have done we have targeted some uh, 30 40 markets across india uh, we have targeted the weak market also for us and we have targeted the strong market all also us. and there was this innovating holding across india and one of our innovating holding where you can find a big uh, fan uh, giving air to kiara and uh, her uh, frills of her, her skirt was moving so that was a big hit and some of the social media uh, pages have covered this uh, uh, oh campaign and i still remember that we have got some 2.6 million uh, views on one particular page of pune so there are many pages uh, so the, it went right. it really went uh, viral uh, this okay. oh campaign in similar way we have done with kartik uh, our wire campaign wire holdings where you can find a, a border of neon lights so it was a really good campaign and we have really got a good feedback so what we are doing we are uh, getting feedbacks from the market that what is there what is new in the market so we are trying to adapt the new things where it is a moment marketing or where it is a uh, uh, rural marketing or it is a need based marketing so we are learning very quickly and we are implementing very quickly right and that is why how we are uh, standing out in this clutter market so agility is the keyword yeah that is true right you uh, mentioned listen to the market is a cue matlab yes you should of course get feedback from the market that what is happening right right and you mentioned you know you're doing campaigns across your big markets and strong markets so can you just uh, let me know what those markets are what is your biggest and strongest market so in see we are we are very strong in uh, southern market uh, 45% of our sale used to come from uh, southern market we are very strong in western market we are very strong in eastern market barring one or two state and we are little weak in northern market so uh, as a strategy we have covered the weaker market of northern also uh, north also like uh, there were holdings in uh, kanpur or uh, lucknow and other parts of uh, then there were holdings in bihar and jharkhand then there right. were holdings in a uh, strong market like calcutta or bombay or pune so uh, that was the first uh, campaign what we have done in last so many years and we have got a good result so now our strategy is clear that what needs to be done for this financial year So right. we have all the data with us, and uh, we are going to uh, start our new innovative campaign soon. Right, right. Uh, so when you're catering across so many geographies, be it north, south, east, west, there's also an angle of you know rural and also tier two, tier three, yeah. as compared to an uh, a metro city or an urban setup. So how do you sort of tailor your marketing initiatives for these different markets? Okay, so we have many products where we are doing rural marketing. Like we have a product which is known as three core flat submersible cam cables okay. used by most of the farmers. Okay. So uh, we are number one in that category, and plus we are uh, we have launched so many new product in the last three four years to get entry into this rural market. So we have a product portfolio with us where we can connect with a rural customer. then we have a 360 degree campaign across india in the local languages like if i am talking to a customer in uh, kerala to in a village of kerala then my communication has to be in the local language only so my posters my shop boards my uh, communication is in local language plus we are doing lot many uh, kisan melas we are participating in in lot many local events like exhibitions for a better connectivity with this rural customers and uh, in our recent digital uh, uh, campaign also you can find us uh, in uh, different categories where the rural people are watching 
uh, their mobiles where rural people are watching the digital content. So our campaign is designed for the rural marketing and our sale is also coming almost 40% uh, sale we are getting from the rural market only. So I'm having some 800 odd distributor out of 800, my uh, 60%, 500 distributor are based for this rural marketing. That's that's actually a big chunk of your uh, market uh, share in the rural space. So, I mean, great there. And uh, when you talk about marketing initiatives, how do you sort of, you know, target personalization and customer centricity? Because I think customer centricity and customer experience have become the core of marketing today. So, how do you look at that? Okay, so uh, basically, we have two types of customers. One is our own customers who are our channel partners and distributors. And the second is the end customers. Mm -hmm. So uh, the market dynamics has been changed in the last so many years, especially after COVID. And earlier, the buying power uh, was uh, between the age gap of age group of uh, 35 to 55. Now that has been shifted to an age group of 25 years to 50 years. Especially in metro cities, you can find a young guy who was well settled in an IT company and who wants to purchase his own house. But in a rural, you still find a person who is not settled up to the age of 35 or 40 years. So uh, the target audience are different across different channels, across different state, across different markets. So we are targeting uh, those target audience differently in different or different product. For an example, uh, my target audience for a product like fan is a different one. Like there is a contribution of female also in uh, selecting the fan category or a water heater category or a switch category or especially ions. But when I talk about switch gear and iron, then uh, it is a male dominated category. So there we need to target the male category, but for other product, you need to target the female and the combination of both. So it depends which product you're selling and which market you're selling. And for our own customers, there are many things which we are doing. Like we, uh, there is a agency which we are dealing with, it's an Israeli company, Goldrat, and which is observing, which is studying the uh, buying pattern of all the customers. And it is a self-running app. It got adjusted according to the behavior of the customer. And that is how we are fulfilling the demand in the market by the digitization and uh, this targeting uh, of the customers. Right. Uh, now uh, you spoke of how it is digitization has changed your customer centric efforts. But when coming to your distribution, how has digitization sort of changed this process? And how much of your sales now comes from traditional offline, you know, distribution channels versus online? No, so we have started this distribution process some four years back. Earlier, we used to sell to only our direct channel partners. And we were not aware about our end customer. There was no data of our end customer or end, re end retailers who are selling our product. So we have started this distributor distribution journey four years back. And we have started this journey with a beautiful designed uh, distributor software where you mm -hmm. can track the live sale of any of the distributor to whom he is selling. So this, distribute, this distribution software helps us to design a beat plan for a distributor. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting the orders from retailers directly from this uh, software. So there is a close link between a, a retailer and a distributor and the company. So I can see on my dashboard that what is my current sale, how many bar secondary we have generated today, how many of my retailer uh, distribute, uh, how many of my distributor sales were out on field, what are they doing? So that is the beauty of a digitization and a software. Now we are extended this software to our retailer uh, distributor salesman also where he can uh, book the order directly and the company used to get a notification whenever they got uh, uh, this uh, orders. So we are right. tracking the complete uh, ecosystem of this distribution through this. And now uh, I have the data of 2 lakh retailer with me and uh, almost 40% of my uh, sale is coming through the distribution. So I have a control on this 40% of my total sale, which was zero some four or five years back. So right. that is how this distribution right. evolved right. with the help of digitization. Right. And we, um, now we, I, since we have that data with us, we can uh, send a notification through a, uh, SMS or through WhatsApp channels. So this digitization is really helping us a lot. 
right right uh, i was doing up some reading on pinelex cables of course and your stated target is to be in top 3 across categories including electrical goods in 3 to 4 years so yeah. are you on track when it comes to that part of things yeah as i already told you that we are already number 1 electrical wires in many of the communication cables yes and we have launched this new product some couple of years back and our market share is in a single digit a low single digit but yes we are on a track if you see our growth journey of last 3 years in covid time our turnover was 2750 crores and last year we have crossed 5200 crores so we are very much on the right. uh, task we have launched so many new product in these categories in the last so many years and we are going to launch more product in this financial year to give a, a good basket to the customer and uh, you must have seen our campaign also for this new product and new new campaign is on cart so we'll be launching a new campaign soon for this new product so yes we'll be there in uh, top 3 category soon right and what would you say has been the growth that you've observed in the last 2 years and how do you you know see it uh, evolving this financial year from 2750 3 years back to 5200 crores last year it's a is a big growth but we have taken in the last 3 years and this uh, this year also we are looking very uh, good uh, the, the growth will be there and we are trying to uh, register a growth better than the gdp of india maybe double than gdp of india so that is our goal uh, to remain ahead of the gdp of india right uh, what are the future plans in place here i mean you recently did such an innovative campaign for a range of products but anything else that we are expecting soon from penelex Yeah, so we have recently announced a capex of five hundred and eighty crores. So we are investing a lot in our manufacturing capacities. Uh, we are enhancing our capacities. Plus, we are uh, launching new product also. Recently, we have launched a very beautiful product, which is a smart lock. So you can find a lock where you can uh, see the face of the visitor. It's a inbuilt. Uh, it's having an inbuilt video door phone in the lock itself. There's a door bell also in this lock. So now the builders are uh, looking for such product for their uh, flats. So right. uh, we want to have a complete electrical solution provider for this builder category. So we have launched this touch, which is a smart lock. We are going to launch new fans in this month or next coming uh, months. We are coming up with a new range of BLDC fans. Plus, you will see a new range of water heaters in winters. Our team is working on that. recently we have launched a new range of switches which is known as grezo it's a economic product for rural marketing and uh, for the tier 2 and tier 3 towns so a uh, lot many things are on cart i cannot disclose much more but of yes course. the capex of 580 crores is in the public domain you can see that the company yeah. is spending a lot on the expansion part those are some interesting plans and i'm really looking forward to you know whatever is next coming from pinelex anything else you'd like to add on that no as i already told you that uh, we have already started working on our new campaign which will be on air in next uh, one and a half or two months our team is working on that plus you will see a lot of uh, new uh, innovative campaign in the market or especially on the the btl activities they are doing and we are going to participate in a uh, good uh, exhibition this year to showcase our new uh, launch product plus we have, we have not spent a lot on uh, media front in last so many years in neopop or print media so this year we have a plan to uh, spend a good amount of money on print media also plus last year we have started uh, ott campaign through ipl this right. this year also we have done ipl so ott is a in thing so our plan is to spend a good uh, amount there also right right thank you so much for your time today it was great speaking to you some great insights come up uh, have come up to, uh, regarding pinelex so thank you for that thank you for thank you very much thanks for it thank you